Hello and welcome. Welcome to the start of the Tour de France. So we're just into the first stage and we're hitting the first sprint point. Now, there was a breakaway, that's this painting over here, but we are, um, the main peloton is only about a minute behind them now. And uh, coming across the sprint point, which is another competition within the tour. Um, racers who probably have limited chance of winning the yellow jersey. Sprinters who aren't quite, don't have the strength of climbing that they have will compete for the green jersey. Um, so this is the uh, the five breakaway guys took the major points, but this is the rest of the group coming through a best of the rest situation. And it's um, Mads Petterson taking the sprint with, um, this is Peter Sagan right behind him. Doing a bit of a bike throw right at the line, although more than a bike length behind Peterson. But it's encouraging to see him in the mix. And beside him, I believe is Jakob. No, I'm thinking of somebody else. <laughs> Jakobsen is his name. It's about to say Jakob Fulkusen, but I don't even think he's racing anymore. So I've been painting the tour for since 2012, so 11 years now. And many riders that I first painted have since retired. In fact, I doubt very seriously anybody's still competing that was racing the first tour I painted. I like that it's this group of sprinters that have come out and then the whole peloton is back here. So of course, it being the first stage of the tour no leaders jerseys have been awarded so it is sort of wide open i think this year's tour is going to be a little different in that um it's been a very hard stage to start the tour with Sorry, just signing this, so I had to stop talking. So, with a very hard start of the stage, it should make for a bit safer, or start of the tour, a bit of a safer. It's been very hilly. They've already been over two categorized climbs. With the riders swapping going over the top of those climbs first. So it's kind of, it will be a pretty quick division of uh, hopefuls and contenders, which will calm the race down just a little bit. When the tour starts out with a fairly flat stage, literally every single rider thinks, well, I've got a chance. And it can make for a very nervous and much more dangerous opening day. But today, it seems me a lot calmer. Very happy to say so far, and I hesitate to say it, 
just because you don't want to wish any ill will, but there have been no wrecks <clears throat> yet. It's unfortunately an inevitable part of cycling, but still, not something you ever want to see. Be my chance now to honor Gino Meyer, minor Swiss rider who crashed on a mountain stage on a descent and died. So an honor to him and just to, you know, it's a dangerous sport. So obviously we don't want to see anything like that happen again. Now it's interesting to see one of the guy who won the green jersey last year isn't even vying for this right now. Which I find a little bit of a surprise. That would be not hard. If you haven't watched it yet, the Netflix special, Tour de France Unchained, is a nice introduction into what racing is. And talks a lot about Woot, but they don't go into, one of the things they did in that coverage was decide to focus just on the yellow jersey. So this is the new kit that was Trek Segafredo for a long time and they've now got Lidl. The grocery chain is their main sponsor. So they've changed their kit. First time painting it. Might take me a little time to figure it out completely. But you know, It's part of the first day because teams will regularly introduce new kit. Sorry, what happened here? I've lost my image. There we go. <laughs> that was my guy. Thumping sound and the dogs are sure they're about to be attacked. Yeah, yeah, that's enough. So as I'm working through this, I should mention that we do, I work light to dark. They've also introduced a new color for the green jersey, which I'm not thrilled with either. It's not going to be as um, bold of a green that it has been in the past. You know, I really wish they all would consult me before choosing colors. <laughs> yeah, that'll happen. <laughs> it is interesting that this year a lot of teams have gotten away from the dark color and switched to some, um, a lot of white jerseys, which I think is a wise choice because it is the summer and racing in the heat, I would think you would want to have as light of a color jersey as possible. Although I did just get some new kit that honors um, Women's Cycling and the Homestress Foundation. 
don't know about them, find out about them. Catherine Bertin sort of organized that. Very important advocate for women's cycling. And I will be painting, you know, this is the start of the men's Tour de France, but the women start on the day the men end. So I will be painting them as well. So I encourage you, I mean, we've got 21 stages of the men and then we go to 21, which I wish we went to 21. We go to eight stages of the women. And like I say, I'll be painting both. I recommend you hanging around for all of this. So all I have to do now is lay in the background. It's overcast, so there's not real strong shadows. Sometimes the shadows can be a real helpful element to the painting, but um, it doesn't really exist in this, so it's just gonna be a easy wash for the road service. And that will help pop the white of Sagan's jersey. And you can notice that I'm taking my brush for trying to follow the roadway as well. So that as you see brush strokes, it helps give you that sense of speed and direction. So that's the piece. I'll be sharing all of the Tour de France artwork at my blog, theartofcycling.blogspot.com. And there you will find direct links across to my website where you can purchase the paintings. And then, of course, is gregleach.com, and there'll be a... Um, Tour de France gallery. So, thanks for taking the time to watch. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll be talking, doing one of these every day of the tour and of the Tour de Femme, Tour de France Femme. So, that's what I'm doing for July. What are you doing? And of course, as always, please be sure to give a like, leave a comment, and if you like what you see and want to see these as they pop up, all race long. Be sure to subscribe. Thank y'all. See you soon.